What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, back to finally finish off the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp Across the World Collaboration Pack this week. Uh, I got two today, and then two we'll do later this week. Uh, let's get right to it with the first offering, a collaboration with Duvel Mortgat in Pers, Belgium. I hope I'm getting some or all of that close to right. But uh, this is their hoppy Belgian-style golden ale. Uh, here's what Sierra Nevada has to say about the beer. We're combining elements of Duvel's classic golden ale with Sierra Nevada's hop-forward fanaticism to create a new beer that highlights both. The complex and fruity nature of Duvel's signature yeast is the first thing that greets you, followed, by, followed shortly by a blast of bright citrusy hops. The beer also has a touch of lemon peel for a pop that greets the palate right at the finish of this deceptively drinkable and complex beer. 8% ABV, 35 IBU. Uh, Belgian ale yeast was used. Hops used were Magnum, Saz, Styrian, Celia, Cashmere, Callista, and El Dorado. Malts used, Pilsner, French Pilsner, and wheat. And the other ingredient used is lemon peel. All right, let's check it out. So a, a nice, basic, pretty clear uh, golden yellow color, yellow gold. A lot of carbonation shooting up through the glass, feeding what's a, a solid finger's worth of a pretty fluffy white head there. As I hold up to the light, uh, generally kind of retains that, retains that same uh, yellow gold color, maybe a little bit more towards orange, uh, just a bit in the core with more of a, uh, a lemonade-y kind of a highlight around the edge. All right, let's try it out. So uh, definitely, as they say in the description, the, the Belgian yeast strain is very much the first thing you get uh, with cloves and allspice, all kinds of spices. Uh, the first thing you really get on the palate. Maybe a, a hair of banana as well, but to me it's not really all that sweet, so we're not really getting necessarily uh, like a, a bubble gum or any kind of candy components. Um, again, from the Belgian side of this. Pushing past that, there's maybe just a, a very, very slight amount of hop bitterness, um, really in about the back quarter of the drinking experience. Almost as I'm as I'm swallowing, and it's maybe hanging around my palate just a little bit in terms of an aftertaste. But um, I, I listed that hop the the hops used, and a number of them I've I've not experienced very much or at all. Magnum is somewhat common, size is somewhat common, but the rest um, I've experienced very little, if at all. So. The hop profile is feeling a little bit different to me. I'm not quite necessarily getting uh, too much of a citrusy. Certainly nothing I would not call it bright. Uh, maybe getting a little bit of citrus. Maybe something like like a grapefruit. But, you know, I, I think bright. I think uh, certainly lemon, maybe lime, maybe orange. Grapefruit's kind of a little bit more... It can be tangy, but the, the flavor of grapefruit for me is a little bit more... Subdued, I guess, is not a great word, but you know what I'm trying to say about grapefruit. <laughs> but it's kind of other, like, uh, like earthy fruits, maybe, kind of a thing, or spicy fruits, if that's a, a thing that exists. Uh, it's it's really terrific overall. Uh, it, it's, it's really, really delicious. Uh, the finish is actually nice and crisp as well. Um, again, not necessarily getting the uh, the lemon peel that they mention as a, as an ingredient. Um, so the the citrus is really very subdued. I'm getting maybe more like uh, like fall fruits, apple and pear, those kinds of things. I think maybe that's where I'm getting kind of the spicy fruit idea from. Like a there's no cinnamon to it, but almost like a some variant of an apple pie or something like that, the filling of an apple pie, something along those lines. 
Uh, but, uh, yes, very complex beer. Uh, I wouldn't quite necessarily call it balanced, per se. Uh, again, there's not, not a whole lot of the, the hop side to it, but it's really delicious uh, if you like the Belgian style. And, um, yeah, that's really good. So that's the, uh, what is it, how's it called? The Hoppy Belgian Style Golden Ale, uh, the collaboration with Sierra Nevada and Duvel Mercat. So let's move on to the next beer. And next up is something completely different. Uh, this is the stateside collaboration with Surly Brewing Company in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is the Ginger Lager. Uh, notes from Sierra Nevada on this beer. Together, we're brewing a lager infused with hot ginger and a touch of cayenne, which emphasizes the ginger heat, before fermenting on a blend of oak honeycombs and hops. This may seem like an odd concept, and let's be honest, it is an odd concept, but the finished beer more than makes up for the seemingly strange combination of flavors. The ginger is bright and crisp, the cayenne falls just below the heat threshold, and the oak adds a delicate roundness to the finish. This ultra-crisp lager is very balanced and incredibly drinkable, and will be one of the sleeper hits of the beer camp pack. 6.2% ABV, 20 IBU, lager yeast was used, hops are sterling, uh, malts two-row pale, honey, acidulated malts, and other ingredients are ginger, cayenne, and oak honeycombs. All right, and as you can see, this is the, uh, the third and final can uh, that was found in the 12, 12 offering series. Okay, so still a bit in there, obviously. A uh, nice golden color to it. Maybe just a couple of shades closer to orange compared to the, the blonde, uh, yeah, the Belgian ale from before. A little bit of carbonation, still a finger of head yet uh, roughly hanging around. I'm holding up the light. Uh, yellow gold highlights with that, uh, that kind of more orange gold core. All right, let's see how it goes. Oh, lots, lots and lots of ginger on the nose. Well, uh, we'll see how it is. Um, quite sweet. I think all the, the honey used is uh, a very strong component to the beer overall. Uh, really hits you hard early on and uh, kind of dominates the flavor profile, frankly. The ginger flavor is in there as well. The heat overall is fairly muted. I think it's probably cut by the the relatively high level of sweetness. And the ginger is really coming through. Excuse me. It's really coming through now more uh, as, as in the aftertaste, uh, just kind of lingering around the palate after the drinking experience. There's a little bit of heat right on the, the very back end. And I think you saw it kind of gave me a little bit of a, a pause there. Um, crisp. Uh, I, like, like, I think, I look, like I think the previous beer was as well. Uh, nice refreshing carbonation to it. The heat is starting to build in the back of my throat a little bit. Again, not necessarily while I'm drinking it, more, more lingering on the palate <laughs> after the fact. Uh, you can see how it's giving me a little bit of trouble with uh, swallowing and talking. <laughs> I tend to not big, be big on pepper beers in general. I like this more than most because it's not, uh, the, the, the little bit of cayenne used is not super, super intense. I'm, I'm not a, I like peppers. I tend to not enjoy them flavor wise in the, the construct of a beer. And some of them I think can just be way too hot. So, but this does a, a real nice job of making it a nice subtle part of the overall experience. Uh, and again, I think it's probably being cut a good bit by the, uh, by the sweetness, uh, from the honey and just by the relatively strong flavor that ginger tends to bring overall.
Um, so that's not bad. Of the pair, I like the the Belgian better, but um, certainly quite drinkable. Um, even for me, who again, this is probably not something I would see on a board and want to want to want to order right away. But um, really, not a bad beer overall. That is the Ginger Lager from Sierra Nevada and Surly Brewing Company. And that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. If you go there right now, I'm uh, kind of doing a rundown of all the breweries I checked out in uh, South Jersey over vacation. Checked out four new ones this year, um, in addition to kind of the, what's become the, the staple in Cape May Brewing Company. So I've written about two of the, the five total that I'll be writing about. So you can check them out on the website. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're uh, so inclined, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.